in a bid to reduce crop losses encountered by some farmers during the planting stage, a number of growers are taking up seed propagation as a serious farming venture. On this week's Smart Farm, our very own Dennis Ocieno caught up with one young farmer in Moranga who has a special focus on vegetable seedlings. <laughs> On a warm, sunny afternoon at this farm located at Kenol Town at Kandara constituency, Muranga County, Lamek Victorious examines some of the seedlings ready for dispatch. While some of his workers are watering the seedlings for the day, others are busy planting seeds onto propagation trays. This is the order of the day at Mkulimamdogo Seedlings, founded by Lamek in rather unexpected circumstances. This idea came while I was in hospital. That is back in 2017. I got some buns, around 43%. So I had ample time to do all my research. And once I was out, I started. Vegetable seedling propagation idea came as a result of uh, failures that farmers were going through. This is one of the major challenges that farmers go through when producing the vegetables. May, may it be tomatoes, cabbages, the initial stages of uh, growing the crop matters a lot. Since then, this ambitious young farmer has never looked back. Today, he has gone big with propagating vegetable seedlings, in addition to fruit seedlings that dot his farm. I started with a small greenhouse. Now I have around six greenhouses. I also have three branches countrywide. In these greenhouses, it propagates various types of vegetables. We have tomatoes, we have cabbages, we have capsicums. We have uh, skuma wiki, we have spinach, and uh, colored capsicums. Mm, we have them, we have green, red, yellow, we have onions, and uh, we are also doing some unique vegetables like asparagus and herbs, we are doing them. The propagation trays are often exposed to a temperature of between 35 to 50 degrees to aid in growth. The process of planting seedlings in trays starts with a special medium, mostly known as cocoa peat. Lamek is producing the mixture as it cuts production costs. Cocoa peat is a specifically cocoa peat that is blended to the right propagation grade, so which is ready to plant. Yeah, so that is the soil that we use. It is made from uh, coconut shells that are recycled. They do take a shorter time in the nursery. They usually take a month and some a month and a week. So they are unlike the, the crops which are planted on the, on the open fields. Unlike other farmers who don't mind the ground, Lamek and his team are cautious of the conditions they expose the seedlings to. The, the soil is, is prone to pests and diseases. The other thing is that uh, the... the, the the soil, the soil can have contaminants also. It may, may it be foreign. In a week, Lamek and his team can sell over 70,000 seedlings and supply over 10 different varieties of vegetable seedlings. Most seedlings will take between 21 to 42 days to be ready, depending on the farmer's preference. Lamek's advice to potential seed propagators is to ensure constant water supply to maintain uniformity before transplanting. Denis Otieno, Smart Farm.